a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink and a red head a twink Do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, I like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, I like French toast. Do, 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 do. Can't wait to get a mouthful. A pussy. Hey. Such a good song. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Hi, Twinkle everyone. Redhead. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Once again, I can't stop talking like this. It's becoming a real it, fucking problem. It's really bad, you guys. You and guys, whenever Grant comes home, I said, hey, how are you? It's crazy. And she was just saying, stop. Stop. She was just saying, stop, stop it right now. No, stop, stop it right it now. Right. No, are you fucking kidding me right now with that stop it? Seriously? Stop. Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? It can't, it's not stopping. And I don't even know if it's... <laughs> no, like, I can't get out I of I don't it. know if it'll ever fucking stop. <laughs> no, like it's actually becoming a real fucking issue. <laughs> I answer the phone to like, you know, my freaking super in my apartment. I'm yeah. like, hello, hello. There's a bird in the fucking there's hallway. A, <laughs> there's a bird in the hallway because that's what happened today. A goddamn bird. Can you Get fucking this. believe it? <clears throat> I'm coming up from Whole Foods, right? Uh-huh. A goddamn wild fucking bird. <laughs> flying around in my goddamn hallway we I'm don't like, pay this much for for you know wildlife to be living amongst wildlife you i know mean, what i mean grant and this bird flying all around literally Jesus almost hit Christ. my head like a fucking pterodactyl and you know what that could have been a lawsuit could have been a lawsuit so out of the kindness of my heart i texted the super i said hey you know what there was a wild bird, a bird. flying running amok in this apartment building what are you gonna do about it you know what he said? What? Thanks for letting me know. Are you fucking kidding? But you know for what the real? real mystery is? What? I was doing some investigating when I saw the bird because I was like, you know what? Maybe I could be a part of this. Maybe I could help get him out. I was worried about the guy. Get this. Yeah. I go in the in stairway. Yeah. There are some windows. So yeah. I go to try to open the window to give the bird the best chance of escape. Babe, it's not going out. Grant. The windows had screens. They didn't really open like that. So the real question is, and something I've been racking my brain about, how did the fucking bird get in? I'm thinking maybe the roof. And then it flew to level two? I feel like they don't fly down like that. No, no, they'd have to take the stairwell if they were going to fly down like that. If it came in from the roof, I'm thinking maybe the door, but that's weird. I'm thinking maybe someone had their window open in their apartment. No. Flew through. They opened the fucking door. To get it out? And put it in the hallway. Well, you know, I did that when we had a cockroach. Stop. When we had that giant cockroach, I killed it with the raid. I just sprayed it to death. I drowned it. And then you know what I did? I just... I sweeped it out into the hallway and I said, you know what? It's their problem now. See, that is fucking ruthless. Ruthless. I'm sorry. What are you going to do? What do you, I mean, I wouldn't want one of those fucking critters. How's your COVID? Do you have long COVID? Stop. So you guys, Jesus last Christ. week I had COVID. Yeah. And you were stuck with I me. I was stuck. I was bedridden. Couldn't get out of bed. My muscles were aching. It was terrible. I felt like I had scarlet fucking fever. Right? Right. I felt like I was a peasant in 1850 with scarlet fucking fever, right? right? I couldn't get out of bed. But now I'm fine. I'm I don't definitely believe better. you when I think I'm about to get COVID as well. You know what? I had 103 goddamn fever. You're I was kidding. burning the fuck up. Burning up. I couldn't even watch can TV. You even, can you even get out of the accent if you tried right now? It's almost opposite now because remember you're putting in an, an, an effort to put to I know. do the opposite. No, I if I think about it and I take a deep breath, I could get out of it. But it's so much more. F- I feel so much freer when I talk in the accent. Yeah. <laughs> but I have noticed that in my day to day conversations, I have started to say things like "stop." Yeah, stop. No. Or like I'll be like, "Oh my!" I'll be like, "Yeah," and I was talking to him. I keep saying "right," right I is say, a new tip. I say, Or I'll be like. Oh my god, it's BOGO at Starbucks. You guys want to go get some coffee? Yeah. At work, like at work, all those things. We like go that. through such phases. What are some other catchphrases we've had over the few past few years? In so college, tr- well, remember? What? Just we'd say, "Oh shit!" to everything. Yeah, that was like a f- 
like that was a big fad like yeah. it was new and revolutionary back then like just being like oh shit yeah My like to dad anything says that anyone ever said you just be like oh shit oh, oh and no Remember oh my that? god we would also bad. we went through a phase where to anything, anything anyone would tell us we'd nah. click our tongues and no nah. <laughs> like it could, so be, rude. it could be the worst thing so like, terrible oh my god like i got a bad grade on my exam no. What are other catchphrases we have? So true. So true. And we do a little like finger point with it. So, so true. true. And we used to do that like before it was cool. Because it's pretty. Everyone says that so now. True. It's just like normal. So, so true. true. We've had more. What are they? I don't know. I'm sure we say stuff here a lot that we don't even realize. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. You guys. We're sipping on cocktails. We're sipping on cocktails tonight. I'm drinking a poppy and Svetka. What poppy flavor? Raspberry rose. What are you drinking? Tonight I'm drink I am done with poppy, you guys. So I am drinking a white claw with Ashley ta- taught me a new thing. It's called f- a floater. A floater. Is that real? You made that up. I think they're you hu- No, it's real. It's usually an ice drink, and then there's a shot on the top of the like frozen drink. Uh, and it's a floater. Okay, it well, floats on top. Well, Ashley told me to um drink some of the white claw and then fill it up with we have this really good brand of vodka. It's, it's so called smooth. Svedka. It's imported. Um it's a foreign export import. It's like the smoothest it's vodka so smooth. I have ever drank. And so I just put, I just topped it off with a little Svedka. And, and a lot of people like probably haven't gotten to try just the original flavor. Like you don't need flavoring for this vodka. You could just drink it straight. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 We have just the normal straight original Svedka. Svedka. It is delicious. The packaging I could literally too. throw in a fucking curly straw and just chug. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway what else is new wow let's see what what the fuck else is new i'm reading a book stop yep i'm reading a book and i actually will finish this book because you know what i do i usually start a book and then i don't finish it yes it's the new testament or old <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that are you reading the New Testament or old? Why do you think I'm reading the Bible? Just because everyone should read it once in their life and you seem like the type of person who has never opened that a goddamn page of it. And what makes you say that? Hmm. I think you and I both know. Well, no, I'm reading my version of the Bible, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Would you say that the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes <laughs> is better than hunger games catching fire or mocking jay so you guys i already read the ballad of songbirds and snakes i read it when it first came out in 2020 so it's been a few years it's been almost two, it's been two and a half years so here i am again falling into the accent like i can't dare stop. i say that mocking jay was a really no it bad was. end to the oh, trilogy. Oh, oh, oh i thought you were gonna say it was like the best no if it made the whole trilogy i just don't think for a finale? Are it you was for a real flop, right now? It was a flop. It was, it was a flop. flop. Let's coming, be honest. And coming out of Catching Fire. And then they have the balls to make Mockingjay 2 films. I'm sorry. They should not have done they that. They should not have done that. Because you know what, Grant? A lot of people were fans of the Hunger Games in their childhood and in middle school. I know a lot of people that said they were big fans. Never even saw the last the two last movies. The last two movies. They were fed up. It was like almost it was over. And by the time 2015 rolled around with Mockingjay Part 2, it was like the dystopian kind of trend was well over. Well because over. there was that trend. We had the flops of the Divergent films, the flops Major of Maze flops. Runner. The flops. Harry Potter had been over. Twilight, Twilight had been, been over. Hunger Games was the last big, you know. We were done. We were tired. We were tired. It was tired. But you know what? This movie looks good and i'm telling you i'm re i'm I'm rereading the book right now as i'm reading it i'm like holy shit i saw this star-studded cast a great cast who the hell's tom blythe i don't know but great is that the guy that's playing coralanius snow yeah i don't know who the fuck this man is but i trust him handsome the handsome fellow you know he's not blonde you know what he's not natural blonde you know what i love i love when movies cast the most despicable character the villain as just a certified hottie. He, well, it's weird because he's not 
he's a he's a villain, but he's your who you're following. No, I know, but you know what? I know what he does in his later life in this, we do. you know, we the know. third act of his life, if you will, and I'm not impressed. His final act. The final act, and you know what else? You know what other series did this? Oh. In Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, right? Uh-huh. Harry is going to save Ginny in the Chamber of Secrets, and he sees this fucking teenager in there. It's teenage Tom Riddle. And he's fucking hot. He's so hot. He's a twink. He's so hot. He has his dark hair. He's angry. He sets the basilisk on Harry. Jesus. Well, I'm so excited to see, you know, these characters come to life and see these scenes come to life on the big screen because Francis Lawrence, same, it's the same team as, you know, Catching Fire, Mocking Jay, and they they really know how to how to do it, and I can't wait. I'm they seeing, know how to make cinema. That I was saying, it looks so faithful to the book. I'm, I'm reading these pages, and I'm like, holy What's shit. What's the worst book-to-movie adaptation you've ever seen? Well, I've heard, isn't Percy Jackson bad? <gasps> I'm so excited for the show. The show looks silly. It looks good. Well, not, not in a bad Cause way. It's yeah. suppo- no, because like the thing that they did wrong in the Logan Lerman films was they cast like teenagers when Percy's 12 when he first gets to Camp Half-Blood, okay? Mm-hmm. So like, why are we making them 17? I hate when they do that. I hate, I hate when, when do. we it's do that. And now they actually do. cast 12 year olds. And I'm so excited to see what kind of shenanigans Percy and Annabelle and Grover get into. You know what? This isn't a book, but it's an animated film or animated. <gasps> Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. Show it a movie. That was disappointing. But I, I have to say I ate up the special effects. Yeah. I ate up the CGI. M. Night did something with that he CGI. Did, and you know what? And the sets as well. Yeah. I, I was into that. Didn't it, Dev Patel play um, Zuko? Zuko. Yeah. A Zuko so hot. I'm a little, I'm nervous for like the av- or the Netflix show. One, because the creators backed out of it. And two. I mean, what a hard, it's such a it's hard. It's such a hard, weird thing to like make. story. And to make it like live action is almost like it looks silly sometimes but that, like wednesday could have been really really silly and wednesday was good like with but, the hand and yeah, stuff that's you know true. you know what else um you know it was a really good book to movie adaptation this pussy the, the fall in our stars oh yeah and that I had the girls that, that had the girls in a chokehold in middle school yeah when when the plot twist sorry spoiler alert wait can i tell you something what i saw that movie like at midnight when it came out (laughs) and my sister was in college at the time and she brought her friends and they brought like wine and flasks to like drink in the (laughs) movie theater and i was like i was like are you serious right now like you are disrespecting the film (laughs) by doing this like i was like how could you because she had cancer yeah and, I was, drink. and also like it's such an emotional movie i was like the fact that you would be like having a grand old time a, like, like trying to party at underage it. drinking in this cinema right now while of, hazel grace is literally literally struggling to breathe yeah i was like are you serious i was so angry by that That's i was disgusting. literally like giving them dirty looks i was like 13 and i was like are you serious right now i'm pissed i'm pissed but you know what i was gonna say one of the biggest plot twists when the guy dies stop (laughs) because the whole because they really paint they paint hazel grace with and he's fine he's in remission you you really think yeah stop like what john green really did a number with that one like really that was kind of fucked okay am i remembering correctly john green's hot yes bookmark that we'll come back to that do they make out in the Anne Frank house? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Well, yeah, they went. They went on that whole trip, and they stopped. Girl, okay, that would have that would been my one of my first stops in Amsterdam as well. Is that where it was? The Anne Frank house. Yeah. That, yeah, I know, but would you Amsterdam? make out with someone in there? Yeah. You would. I would. Yeah. Why would? Why is that disrespecting her? I don't know. It just feels a little weird to play, weird like playing like tonsil and, hockey and play. in such a location. I Maybe, sh- like, outside, in line. Well, let me tell you, that girl knew how to write. She's a beautiful art writer. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, sorry. John Green is so hot. I'm yeah, what, what is the damn, him. what's like the damn uh, videos that instead of crash reading your course. textbook, you go on Crash, crash Course? Crash Course. Yeah. Gra- I still watch Crash Courses. 
Okay. I'm not even kidding. That's weird. Oh, but really? But you would. Yeah, no, because sometimes I'm like, I haven't thought about the Mongolian Empire in forever. Like, let me brush up. And then I throw <laughs> on a John Green and he makes and me his laugh. Brother, his brother is also Oh my a host God, well. he makes me laugh. He's like... <laughs> literally like has this thing that like shocks him if he gets the answers wrong no. he makes me laugh he's just such a great guy he is so good is he a, is he a father i believe so oh, good he's a father to us all in a lot of ways he is bill nye as well he yeah but I, i'm more like attracted to john, john than Green. i am bill yeah, I'd rather be penetrated. John is John. literally like I have a list of my top ten celebrity crush to my phone, and John is I think he's currently sitting at around number seven. Wow. Yeah. Who's number one? Timothy Chalamet. Oh, twink. Yeah. <laughs> you love your twink. Yeah. Yeah, I do. But like Timothy, like I'm just like we're like going through something right now. Obviously, Timothy couldn't throw you around if he tried. But John Green. Yeah, yeah. and and it would be tender. Oh, what does that mean? I also love John's relationship with his brother, Hank. That's why. Yeah. Hank. Yeah. Like, I just want to, like, hang out with those two. Yeah. That's like my dream. Yeah. Well, we've been talking for a long time for this little intro. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry. But thanks sorry, for sticking around right? if you guys are still here. Right. Yeah, Jesus okay. Christ. It's the word, 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 the word. It's the word, 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 word. It's the word, 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 word. It's the word, 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 word. The word of the episode. It's the word of the episode. The word. The word of the episode is super. We could be heroes. We could be heroes. <laughs> <laughs> One hit wonder. Such a good Definition song by David old. Bowie. Wait, really? No. He oh, also I was like, oh my god, it was a cover. Well, he also has a song called Heroes. Oh, uh, okay. Wait. If you didn't catch it, it's Superheroes. But what, talk about a one-hit wonder. Sorry. David Bowie? No, whoever sings that. Who sings that? Exactly. Let's look it up. I love a one-hit wonder. You know who else is a one-hit wonder? This is my fight song. song. Take back my, my life song. song. What if it's the same person who sings that? Oh, it's Alesso. No. Oh, wait. So isn't that a DJ? I think so. With Tovlo. Oh, it's to it's to Tove Lu. Yeah. But we can have them diamonds rain in the sun. Damn. I'm so I'm sorry to those people. I am so sorry to 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 If Bailu. I saw those two walking down the street, I wouldn't know a thing. No, but I know a lot of people do love Tavlo. The gays love Tavlo. There's a couple twinks listening right now who's like, "I love, love her. How do you not know who it is?" What were you about to ask me? What the fuck was I about to say? I don't really oh, know. Oh, who else? Did, another. I love a one hit wonder. Oh, Rachel Platten was the fucking guest at 99. For I us. was with you. I know. I'm oh. saying for us. <laughs> yeah. I literally. This was me. I was like. Seriously? I was eating it up. You were. This is my fight song. And then she just. Take back my life what, song. You know what I actually saw the other day, which is crazy. What? So I'm, I'm watching this TikTok on my For You page. And it's like this blonde woman going into like a senior citizen home. And she's like, oh, my God, it's so great to see you. Like and hugged her and like this to this old lady. And she's like, I. I've been doing what you've been telling me, like to just, you told me to have another kid and everything will like work out. I had another kid and it made my music better. And the, the late old lady was like, oh my God, yes. It was Rachel. Stop. <laughs> and then she starts, she proceeds to sing Stop. to the grandma. I'm pretty sure it's like a single that she's trying to promote. And she's using this poor and grandmother <laughs> to promote it. Like, I don't want to say that, but like, that's, I couldn't help Is but think. Is there anything worse than being sung to in an intimate setting? No. I can't, I can't, Did they could be the most. friend when you were growing up that like thought <laughs> sing and they would ask to sing like to you? Well... I can think or of were one. You that friend? No, I can think of one, and you know who I'm talking about, and we can't say who. <laughs> who? 
Oh, yeah. 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 No, but I vividly remember it was like a friend of a friend, but we were all on the same play date and she performed Umbrella by Rihanna for us. And who the fuck did that? I'll bleep it out. Please tell me. It was me. his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's staying out with her all the time. Uh, you have to be a little bit ill. And like you have to be like something have to, has. I to have, have this condition though, where like if someone sings in an intimate set like setting, I start laughing out of oh like, yeah same. discomfort. You could be the most talented do re- singer. Do you remember senior year the prom proposal? <gasps> <laughs> tell them, tell them. Senior year of high school. The way we, the way we're just not talking about like we're not. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get, get to, to that. superheroes. Okay, we'll get hold to that. on. But senior year of high school. <laughs> Grant and I were in the library with our English class and someone who I genuinely really, I liked this kid came in with yeah, a normal acoustic nice guitar guy. to serenade someone for a prom proposal <laughs> in like this silent in the library. library. I was like, what courage? Like I totally respect no, his yeah. like courage. I wish I had that. But confidence. unfortunately my biological reaction to su- to you know song in an intimate setting is i like have to flee like my fight or flight kicks in (laughs) and i need to evacuate the dance floor immediately so i start literally running for the shelves because i'm chuckling (laughs) chuckling out of like literally being so uncomfortable and not knowing what to do in the situation and my teacher was like go and yeah, I, she I think he like I, came I after me. She yeah. made us leave, and then after just because was, I literally looked like I was like gonna crawl on my skin and die, and it has nothing you, to do with. He was a good singer, like genuinely. Just the situation of it all was just yeah. Like I just I felt <laughs> like I was like walking in on something I shouldn't have been a part of. Yeah, like it, and we're like we had front row seats to this like private performance. It was really a little uncomfortable. I just like don't <laughs> like when people sing in intimate settings. We we definitely were laughing, and then I remember after, like our teacher was like, because she agreed with us. Yeah, she was she on was the like, same page. She like, was uncomfortable like, too. She was like, "You guys are so bad," <laughs> but it was like no. But I stand again, by. He's talented, it was so a nice. biological reaction of yeah. fight or flight when someone is singing in an intimate setting. Yeah, we just weren't used to you know a situation like that, and our first. Whenever we're uncomfortable, I feel like we both are like this. We just laugh. Yeah, because I'm like, what is happening right I, now? And at my grandmother's funeral. You were chuckling? I'm <laughs> not at the actual ceremony, but we took a limo. Oh, <laughs> your photo shoot? I can literally see we, it in my head. Yeah, we took a limo from like the funeral home to like where she's going to get buried or whatever. <laughs> the way I'm talking about well, where she was gonna get buried and it was like kind of like an hour long drive so I guess my family or something like we all rented a limo fun like it was a stretch limo like my aunt uncle cousins my family was all in there and I feel like most people don't do that I know I'm trying to think or like no it know. was a limo but don't you feel like most people aren't taking like a limousine with like my mom, disco balls inside. My mom was Jewish, and I remember we did some sort of Jewish traditions, but I was not, unfortunately. We weren't sitting Shiva. No, but you there was some sort of. You invited me over to her wake. Well, yeah, that was different. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, we had a wake in my house, and and I'm sorry, but we, me and Ashley had a group project. No, Grant texted, <laughs> like, five of us in a group chat. He's like, hey, come on over tonight. My parents are having people over, but there's going to be, be food, food and yeah. come on over. So we all show up. And turns out it's his deceased mum's wake. And like, it's okay. there was a shrine to mum in yeah, the kitchen. Like and we're just like working there. on a group project in another room. Like the room right next door. But it was a fun night. It was. Was that one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get into superheroes. Okay. Wait, I didn't even finish. Oh, I, I took a photo shoot while we we were like waiting for something and so i was like oh my god what a perfect opportunity to like take a photo shoot in this limo when else would you be yeah i'm wearing like a suit like i looked good but anyways i took a photo shoot and my uncle was like it's kind of distasteful to be taking photos at a funeral and i was like oh shit sorry (laughs) okay but that's a lesson everyone needs to learn at some point yeah and i learned it i would have never known and now i do and now you you do for that yeah that is such a good piece of wisdom to carry on throughout the rest of your life that, hey, maybe now's not the time. Right. But, hey, maybe it is, you know? It depends yeah, what it kind of the vibe is. Mom, I think she loves us. Yeah. 
I she's such a fan. She is Stop. a fan. Uh, I didn't really have a close relationship with her, unfortunately. And my mom and her didn't weren't like you know necessarily besties. But she's a fan. But she's a fan for sure. And like she was an ally because one time Pop Pop. Her husband, who I'm not blood related to, thank fucking God. Am I right, you guys? Um, one time we were at their house. I'm like 12 or uh-huh. something. I'm young. And my mom is telling us all how she thinks we're related to Ricky Martin. Oh, my God. Which we might be, you know. And she's like explaining it all, all whatever. Pop Pop goes, well, you know, he's, <laughs> you know. And my mom said, oh, shut up, Jeff. Who cares? Oh my god. So she's an ally and think and she's listening her. right now to this podcast and I thank her so much for the download and for the five star review she gave us on Spotify, her ghost. Oh my god, she would totally give us five stars. She would. She might she give would. us four and a half just to be a little prankster. You th- yeah. Stop. Keep us on our toes. All, All right, right superheroes. superheroes. <laughs> um stop. Superheroes. <laughs> stop. Really? If you were a superhero, would you have a cape? Y- yeah. Would you wear tights? No, I think I would like mix some Batman elements in there. Cause he looks like rugged. He's fucking hot. You know what I think I would have inspiration off? I love Black Widow's cat suit. She just looks mm-hmm. so good. What you know who you know my favorite movie cat woman? <coughs> Zoe I'm Kravitz. Sorry, I just burp. Excuse me. I mean, was it Zoe Kravitz, Anne Hathaway, or Michelle Pfeiffer? Anne Hathaway. Her costume, because she had some sort... I really liked what they did, because, you know, each one has, you know, the different kinds of cats. The first one's very apparent, like, yeah. doesn't have, like, cat ears or something. Anne Hathaway's cat ears are, like, her goggles. Yeah. But when she puts them up, they become her cat ears. Yeah. And then... um Zoe Kravitz is wearing like those pussy hats. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, Anne Hathaway's very controversial figure. Isn't I it? love Anne. I know. I do too. I don't like to. I'm not reading into those. I know. And I don't want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk yeah, about it. Let's not it. talk let's about not it. Let's not even bring attention to it. No. You're so right. Let's live. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we love her and we support her. Everything she does. Yep. Anyways, um, what's your favorite um superhero? <laughs> Spider-Man. Yep. Me too. You know too. what, Grant? Me when I had too. COVID this weekend, I was at home in New Jersey. Yeah. You know what? We turned on the television into the Spider-Verse. I haven't gotten... I haven't watched or it Or Across yet. the Spider-Verse. Across the Spider-Verse. Grant, one of the best superhero movies I've ever seen. Are you for real? Hands down. I haven't... What they've done to those films, it feels like you're reading a comic book. It is incredible what they've done with those films with the animation style, it is such huh? a feat they are pioneers of the industry and i love the miles morales story he is so funny he's just new he's fresh he's, he's cool. new, fresh yeah and like how many times do i see uncle ben die you know Jesus like give me Christ. something give new me a break, give me something right? new um, when they killed did she die yeah Aunt oh May. you know she is my fourth grade teacher's cousin marissa okay. tomei Okay, I don't believe that. But anyway, <laughs> and you know what? My best, my sister's best friend's neighbor's cousin, Ashley Tisdale. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm fucking serious. Wait, I can't tell if you're lying. I'm fucking right serious. Now. Rachel. Yeah. Her neighbor's cousin, Ashley Tisdale. She's from New Jersey. Do they speak highly of her? I think so. I haven't. Uh, the last time I like remember talking about this was high school musical era. No. I don't know why I even thought of it. Like. <laughs> perception of what she would be like as a person i think, I, I I think, think she, she might be a lovely woman i think she's fine i think she's just fine <laughs> <laughs> uh anyways i love spider-man too want well, to know something crazy of course spider-man was definitely another one of my sexual awakenings i knew it i had a really weird and like i'm talking young toby Maguire spider-man oh, i had a really strange infatuation like i was obsessed my uncle tells me that he knows spider-man because my uncle is like he's young really cool at this time he's like around spider-man's age living in new york city as well in high school no at this point we're maybe oh, we're Spider-Man about to be, three maybe what spider-man two Sam? about to be spider-man maybe spider-man two okay because what doc spider-man Ock, one spider-man came one came out when 2002 or something like that i would i would presume to say so so i would have been four there i'm probably like five or six here like i, I had a conscious at this point and so my uncle tells me he's he's in new york city at this point living in new york he tells me he knows him stop i believe him because he's being dead ass with me 
And my uncle says, let me get him on the phone. Stop. And he gets someone on the phone. Who was it? Okay, so at the time, I thought it was Spider-Man. <laughs> of course, naturally. So I deadass thought it was Spider-Man. Like, I was having a full-blown conversation. And then, a few years later, I remember, I'm like, oh, oh my god, that wasn't Spider-Man. It was Tobey Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> like of I course, was, that would be your natural next Like, step. I was talking to Toby Maguire. I thought my uncle was friends with Toby Maguire up until I was, like, 16. Who was really on the phone? His friend Adam. <laughs> <laughs> like, How fun for that friend. Yeah, I, and then I, I think I asked my uncle literally when I was 16. I was like, because this was such a core memory Aww. in my brain. I was like, wait a minute. Who did I, like... <laughs> That wasn't That's Spider-Man. so embarrassing for you. Like, what did you tell him? Were you like, oh my <laughs> God. I thought I was just he's straight up. People. Oh, he told me like, yeah, like he's busy and like doing stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, he was being, sp- I, I was convinced he was Spider-Man. I was talking to and I was so upset when he wasn't. But I was so, something intrigued me when he becomes hot. I'm talking Toby, and I'm talking Toby McGuire. Right now, I don't. I don't know if I would, but like with that, Toby, yes. But oh, a also the Toby? upside down kiss. I was like aroused. That was by. Like the most erotic scene in. That's one of the most erotic scenes in cinema history. They are making. making out. Out. She's eating his face, and also just like the mechanics of that, the yeah. physics of it all. The rain. Like it could have been a have good be kiss because if you're upside down, like. She's licking the roof of his mouth. Yeah. And like, I don't know. But it looked incredible. Yeah. For some reason, I I thought it looked, if you look at it in a weird way and kind of squint your eyes, it looks like a rotisserie chicken. Oh, really? (laughs) We should check it out after this. (laughs) (laughs) I'll just crawl into your bed and we'll check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have a little night. Yeah. That'd Um, be nice. Yeah. Spider-Man's so, well, how do you feel about Tom Holland? Hot. Andrew Garfield? Hot. Andrew Garfield when is, in my opinion, the Spider-Man I'm the most attracted to, but unfortunately, the worst films. The Spider-Man I'm most attracted to is Tom, Tom Holland. I love him. He's just like a twunk. He's a twink twunk. And he's so goofy. He's so silly. He Wait, is so goofy. What is the status of Spider-Man right now in the Marvel Universe? Oh, it's such a good query, and I'm Speaking loving that you're which, staying curious like that. Yeah. So, it is... Heavily rumored that there will be a Spider-Man 4, mm. and that's Tom, Peter, yeah, Spider-Man, yeah. is going to go to college in the next one. And there's a lot of rumors and fan theories that this is when we're going to be introduced to a Harry Osborn character. You know what? Mm. Like, maybe it's a roommate in college. We don't know. But you have to remember where the last movie left no off. Spoiler that. alert, but it came out years ago, so, so fucking, I don't really fucking care. Yeah. Your fault at this point, right? Loses his memories, amnesia. Yeah, they don't know him. He, they see well, him. They see him down the street. Who is that? Who is that? Because the Doctor Strange a spell. But you know what? What? I bet you he's gonna be lurking. Yeah, because he needs to see his girl. He needs and to his be bestie. At- Stop! I love his best friend Ned. I love Ned. He Imagine them getting together. Literally makes me chuckle. Do you think Ned and Zendaya are going to get together? Maybe because no. they are still best friends in the... They won't get together, though. I don't think so. I don't think so. But maybe, like, Harry and Zendaya, because she's supposed to be, like, the MJ. We don't know. We really don't know. But I'd love to talk about what an insane moment in cinema history when Thanos snapped and everyone disappeared. That was cr- That was crazy. But you know what? At this point in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I was like, there's got to be more. That of course, because you knew it was a part one and part it was two. part one. But when you knew that part one ended with half of them disappearing and you had to wait a year to part yeah, two. Yeah, that's that true. Was, they really left us that's there. That's true. They I left was us like, hanging. wow, what is going to happen? Stop. How are they going to do this? Really great films. But when they killed Iron Man... Okay. Oh my God! Stop! I was, you know, you know what part I was really sobbing at, Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. Oh, that was so sad. But I was like, bullshit! They're gonna kill off Spider Man. I, I know, just can't course, get around those of moments. Of course, but it was sad. It was sad. But you know what? And that just left the Marvel Cinematic Universe shambles. But you know what I think? No. You know how at the end of Endgame, 
at Tony's funeral, Steve is like, I'm going back and I'm getting my girl. He's like, and then I'm going to die like an old man. Yeah. He was like, he's done. When they make it. And then he comes back as an old man to give his shield to his friends, to Bucky and Sam. He looks just like old Joe Biden. (laughs) (laughs) With the way that they make Chris Evans with the old man prosthetics, he literally looks. I'm just like, oh, my God, it's fucking Sleepy Joe. I thought you were about to say. (laughs) It's Dark Brandon. (laughs) I thought you were about to say some sort of Marvel plot, like an Easter egg no. or something. Like he literally looks just like Joe Biden. I'm like, that man wow. is a former senator from Delaware who loves Amtrak. Wow. Speaking of Amtrak, well, this is so off the rails. I'm literally. Like, <laughs> Brightline in Florida. Have you seen it? It no. opened up Miami to Orlando. They got high speed rail. Stop. Well, their version of high speed rail. Yep. Stop. I'm very impressed. I must say. Anyway. I would love to check it out because, you know, I, I love want, a train. I want to check it out so bad. And, uh, and what if it's cheaper, you know, to fly to Orlando? And then if you want a vacation in Miami, you just take the, the Brightline down to Miami. Stop. You know what a dream vacation would be for us? What? You know SeaWorld? how in Europe... Well, of course. <laughs> Just kidding. You know how in um, in we should have talked about Sea World in our amusement parks episode. What the fuck. Gotta you know how too. in Europe they have a really nice railway system. Yeah, of course. We should tour Europe. Just on, on by train. train. Um, stop. I also that's why I also want to go to like, Japan. What if we did like a month going all over Europe but on rail cars <laughs> and we like sleep in them. <laughs> Stop. 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 The Eddie. bullet train in Japan. Yes. I would die. So if you could have a superpower, what superpower would you want to have? Oh, shit. It's a good query, isn't it? Let me think. I was I was going to think about this today, and I just didn't get the chance mm. to think about it. Mm. You ever have those days? Oh. Let me really sit and think for a second. No, take longer. Take a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, one super pa- power I would love to have is to know the exact details of every song Taylor Swift has written. Like the back backstories, like to really just know, like what what did she mean by this line? Who was she talking about? Why did she say that? What was it about? But if we're talking generic, I would love to fly. <laughs> That's a good one. I, I would, would also love, to, love fly. to fly. I'd love to be one with the birds. I would fucking love to fly. Oh my god, feeling the winds beneath your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Just soaring. Just, and you could get anywhere. But do you think that like you know how there's like no fly zones? Oh my god, when I get, get like, shot, shot down. down. <laughs> when I get missile down. Like maybe. Well, then maybe fly and invisible. So I don't smart. know if I want to be invisible, though. It gets, no, because it makes me I feel think it's unco- too tempting. It's too tempting. And it's like also I would like get like really existential about it. So like I would be tempted to be invisible and watch someone do something in no, private. And then I'd be like, wait a minute. Why am I here? It's way too tempting to do nefarious things yeah. if you're invisible. Yeah. And like I think that if I had superpowers, I'd hope that, you know, I would use them for good, but I don't think anyone who has the power of invisibility would be able to do strictly good things with it. Yeah. Oh my God. I would slap someone across the face if I was invisible. Yeah. Like if I was really mad at someone, I'd, I'd come and like, back and invisible And like think about like if you think them. someone might be talking shit about you, you sneak into their room and you read their text messages. <laughs> Imagine you walked into your room and your phone was just floating, like <laughs> scrolling through like, your text stop. messages. Like, seriously, that's immature. Yeah. In the power of invisibility is really immature. It's immature because it's also like, hey, nosy, mind your business. And right? have you seen that movie, The Invisible Man? No. Is it good? It's so good. I don't want to spoil it then, I guess. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone else. Go watch The Invisible Man. You'll be shook. But it's like kind of similar energy. For reals? Yeah. Okay, I'll check it's it out. It's so good. Um, If I could have a superpower, I, I would. I ask. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? It's such a good question. Thank <laughs> you for asking. If I could have a superpower, I would want to have the ability to see inside everyone's bank account. <laughs> I would love to just like 
know what would it what all these people are working with how would that help you and it how could just, you help people with that i i can't it would literally just be for like my own <laughs> benefit gossip and like just like understanding like there are so many times where i'm just looking around i'm like what does your bank account look like like yeah. i'd love to know what stocks you're investing in if you have a 401k <laughs> I would just love to know what credit cards you sign up for. I, I guess you could call it financial visibility. I don't know. So just literally just for your own education, your own game. Yeah, and like, like what if you're out to dinner with someone and then they're like, hey, I got it. And they get the check and then you see them and you're like, they shouldn't. They shouldn't <laughs> have. And then maybe I offer. Right. Or okay. what if, what if. Stop. I would also. <laughs> so there you're was, saying stop to the fridge. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you guys definitely can't there hear it, but our fridge. Sometimes, like, I would even love to see, like, how much money do you have sitting in your Venmo waiting to be transferred right now? Oh, I don't ever play with that. Me neither. I, I transfer, transfer right away. And but, like, wait, hold I'd on. Love to you transfer immediately with the fee? No, not with the fee. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought I was crazy for But that I for would a love to know do other people follow this same strategy and not leave it in there? Yeah, you know, like do people Venmo accounts? I would just love to know. And you know what? Maybe if I'm out to dinner with someone and I pay and then I send them a Venmo and it's just sitting there, we'll get this. If I have that superpower, I could take a look inside their bank account and be like, hey, I know you can afford this. Send me my goddamn fucking money. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to help people is what you're saying? No, and I'd you also... You just don't care about people, though. No, I'd also like to talk to animals. Well, maybe you can actually... Maybe you could leak, like, politicians. Yeah, like, because I could funds, be like... Or famous uh, people. I could also really help the irs yeah because i could see what's in people's <laughs> bank accounts and i could be like they are not filing the correct amount for their taxes like i would yeah. call shakira 20 years ago I've if i had the superpower i've literally always said also i'm sorry oh wait is it even the sock yeah it is one of my socks if you're watching on youtube i feel bad for anyone who watches this because we're literally just <laughs> laying around but people do like some of y'all literally watch this on youtube we're fully laying on our couch right now and I, my legs are like fully like, like in the air yeah. like and but and one of my socks has a hole in it you could just see my foot anyways what i was gonna say if i had a super power i i've always said if i had a superpower i just i would want to use it to help the irs <laughs> it's something i've always said it's something i've always because said the if the IRS is missing one thing, it's someone with supernatural abilities, abilities that could help them catching tax fraud. And well, I'm sorry, if I could fly, I'm not catching tax fraud. And what's the point? Yeah, I get I guess I'll go into this more in our Halloween episode, but I can also talk to dead people. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop saying stop. Stop. Um. But I can, I have That's a medium a power. That's a superpower in its own, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you know, it would be I the worst too. superpower to hear people's thoughts. Yeah. That would just drive me fucking When people crazy. are like, like, you're kind of fucked up if you're like, oh, my superpower would be like, I'd want to read people's minds. Okay, you're mind fucked your fucking up. business. Go to, go to therapy at mind that point. Mind your business. Literally, uh, mind your business. And at that point, why do you care that much what people think? Me. Me. That's actually something I need to... Conti- that I'm continuing to unpack in therapy. What? Caring too much what people think. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that problem at all. I don't care what anyone thinks about me. Oh. I'm the most confident person that's ever walked the earth. A and lot of people s- a lot of people disagree. <laughs> I can name one. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about and it's so niche. <laughs> sorry, inside joke. Y'all sorry, don't get it. Oh sorry. my god. Um you know what I feel like would be a good superpower? What? Like an Aquaman type of situation. Like you could breathe underwater and talk to fish and ride fish and just like literally have a good time down there. Wait, I was waiting for you to say what what the superpower was. Oh, it's just like... <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's but it's to be Aquaman. Just like the Aquaman. Yeah, no, that's no, that's not fucking fun. The you way they paint it in the movies, it looks fun. But when you get to yeah, you know how many deep sea creatures stop, there are you're so, that and we also, don't fucking know like, about how imagine, dark it like, is. Imagine you go take a dip in the Pacific and it's like daylight. And you're like, I'm just gonna go for a swim and see what's up. And then like night strikes and there's a lot of scary animals down there. And they there, glow and in I, the fucking I would dark. Be scared. Yeah. Okay. You know what? So, you, you know. <laughs> but the animal kingdom might respect you and see you as their ruler. I think they would all team up on you and try to eat you. Really? Maybe. Because you're like a foreign A foreign thing. Entity. Like they're, they're scared, they're threatened, and they want to attack. That's such a good point. It's such a good point. Thank you for raising that. Sharks? They wouldn't They wouldn't respect you. Yeah. No, you're they're so hungry. Right. What were you about to say? I thought of a pa- superpower that I would actually really like. I would love to switch between being straight and gay. So being like... I guess that would be bisexual. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you wish your superpower is lo- bisexuality. I would love to be able to, you know, I don't. I just think that's powerful. You think to be bisexuals able to sway. are the most powerful people in the world? Well, they don't exist. Oh, okay. I'm kidding, you guys. I know that's a common argument. I see you guys. I see you bisexual people. Yes, but y'all, they it was might. Just by visibility day, I believe. Oh. Well, happy by visibility day, you guys. <laughs> but no, I do think they might be some of the most powerful people because they can sway both genders, yep. sexualities, identities, mm-hmm. and people of mm-hmm. all pronouns. Mm-hmm. They really could. <laughs> and, that's, and that's a superpower. And isn't that the most beautiful thing? What are other real world superpowers that people... What are some real life superheroes? Shakira. <laughs> For tax <laughs> fraud. <laughs> I'm loving what Shakira's doing, though, with her divorce. Because she has a glow up. And she's also like, I will literally drop all the details. Like, she keeps literally saying, like, fuck her father-in-law in songs. And I'm like, that's kind of yeah. iconic of her. And I love that she's like, everyone's viewing her as like this, like, strong woman. And she's just like, yeah, fuck this cheater. And screw his whole family and then she's also being like heavily investigated for tax fraud at the same time and we're just like forgetting about it yeah iconic well who cares um i think that there's no greater superpower than just a kind heart (laughs) no yeah what can't be solved with love i think love is the greatest (laughs) superpower um i think love terrorism Mm, love, Hunger. love can solve that. Um, you know, immigration. Laws. Love can solve that. Um, if you have love homeless. in your heart, the answers will be clear. <laughs> this is like such a Republican point of view, but also it's not at all. You know what I mean? Like I they feel don't like solve it's any like problems, but yeah. then al- but then also they like don't believe love is love. What is your favorite? Let's. What is that noise? My tummy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're nearing the end of this superhero topic. I just want to ask you really quick. What What is your favorite superhero movie? Um, Thank you so much for asking me such a meaningful question. Um, okay. My favorite superhero movie is probably... The Flash. Because <laughs> I love Ezra Miller. I think they're such a great actor. Oh, they go by they, them? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. Um, No, my favorite superhero movie is probably Avengers Infinity War mm. or Captain America Winter Soldier. Pretty basic answers, I must say. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry you feel that way. Um, I'd love to throw this question back at you now and ask you, what is your favorite superhero movie? Thank you so much for tossing asshole. that question. Thank you so much for tossing that question back to me and really appreciate it. Um, and I, I would love to answer it and talk about it a little bit further. Um, recently, I've discovered that my favorite superhero movie is actually The Batman. That's your favorite superhero movie of all superhero movies? Yeah. Why? It's literally just, it's dark, it's gritty, it's a mystery. Okay, how is it any darker than The Dark Knight? Okay, well, who's to say that's not in my top five as well? Okay, is it? Yes. 
All right, then I rescind what? my aggression. What got shoved up your <laughs> asshole during this episode? I feel like no minutes? one could. I feel like literally no one could be Heath Ledger's portrayal as a Joker as like any oh, superhero agreed. villain. Agreed. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, sure, you're you're gifted, you're talented, but it no one could ever come close to Heath Ledger except for me. You would be a good Joker. And let's just say You look so disheveled. <laughs> <laughs> Are I'm you drunk? Literally drunk right now off this half my poppy. I made that drink. For well, you. think about it. I've been sick for a week. I haven't really had any alcohol. All of a sudden, this is literally going straight to the liver. You're kidding. I'm not even kidding right now. You're actually drunk. <laughs> No, literally. I'm like you look like do I look a poodle. <laughs> what are you? Do? What are you? Now she's adjusting her hair. Babe, it wasn't the hair. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> I felt it crazy. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say um, that yes, I love the Batman, and Robert Pattinson was such a pleasant surprise to me. I did not think he was going to do so successful and great, and I really loved him. And I really I've loved him in everything he's ever been in. Harry Potter. Okay. Um, Twilight. And that's it. Mm, that's it. That's all I've what else seen. was he in? Oh, he was in Tenet. I did not enjoy oh, that Oh, Tenet. Oh, my God. And he really, Christopher Nolan really thought he did something. I had no idea what you he did. You know what men, straight men, straight, like, 20-something-year-old men think? They think that, like, a, if you, sorry, <laughs> they think a good movie is a movie where you have to like google the explanation for the movie yeah and in my opinion that's a shitty movie because you shouldn't be wondering right what the meaning of the movie was and what the ending was whereas so many of christopher nolan movies you're literally leaving the theater going hey what the fuck did i just watch and it's not even in like a thematic way no it's in a plot way it's literally like wait like what invention just caused them all to go back in time and everything's yeah, in like, reverse wait. it makes no sense and these like straight film bro in quote guys think that like that is what makes a good movie it's like no that's just shitty storytelling no dead ass i couldn't agree more it's like like i feel like the another movie i think of that makes me like want to google or whatever is like mother but that's because it's like thematic or like he was j- it was just symbolic. The whole movie was like an allegory. And he was trying. It was like purposefully trying not to make sense. Christopher Nolan was like, ch- like trying to make a sci-fi film. And he was trying to make sense, but like only if you like get it, like only if you know. But no one. And knew. it made no like, sense. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. And I left some of his other work, but Tenet was just like Christopher Nolan on steroids, and it wasn't working for me. You know, and honestly, stick to the Dark Knight. And obviously, honestly, there's parts of the Dark Knight I'm really confused about too. All right, well, and I the feel Dark like Knight that's Rises. more of it's better though your intellectual oh. capabilities failing. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Yeah. Seriously, fucking yeah. bitch. No, Oppenheimer was really good though. Did you see it? No. Loved it. Fantastic cinema right there. Do you I know who Oppenheimer have... is? Yes, only because of the movie, but you didn't know him before the movie. Of either. course I did. I read his No, you didn't. I, I read his autobiography. Not okay. autobiography, well, biography. we're talking about superheroes right now, not boring old white men. Hey, who he's made a bombs. superhero. He invented the nuclear bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the people of Japan would agree. I, the I, people of hey, Hiroshima. And I was kidding. I, I don't agree with his invention. <laughs> And I would just like. You just dropped a nuke on this damn podcast. You just dropped a nuke on in, this in pussy. That, I thought you were gonna say in the bathroom. Well, God. oh, I one last thing. I swear it's one last thing. Oh, we were supposed to play a game. <laughs> okay, one last thing, and then I guess we're playing a, a game. <laughs> this podcast is. We were actually both like drunk. I think. <laughs> But it's fun, right? It's you guys, fine. you're having it's fun. It's Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday night. Uh, well, when this <laughs> comes out, it's Wednesday. Night. Hey, it's and, Wednesday. And it's whenever time you're listening, right, you guys? Right. It's a two. P- it's two p.m. and you're driving. <laughs> okay, but you're not drunk driving. 
anyways, you guys, what was I saying? Oh, one last thing before we go into our game. Yes. The Incredibles. So good. Let me talk about it, though. No, please do. That family is weird. Why? They're fucking weird. Why? And that marriage is not healthy. <laughs> no, it's not. They're not healthy at all. And no, they act like they are. Because Wait, does it? He kiss another woman in the movie. <gasps> uh, the woman, I'm so gagged right now. The yes. woman with the silver hair. And she like and, the assistant? And the mom, the evil assistant, and the mom walks in because she goes to save him and she walks oh. in on them kissing, I think. But, and this is a kid's movie. No, but okay. What were the Sorry, real quick, I'd love I'd just love to bring this up. I watched Ratatouille. For the millionth time during my COVID last week. Yeah. There's literally a whole subplot in Ratatouille about how Chef Linguini doesn't know who his father is. And his mom had this, like, paternity test done. But he never, like, got to see the results. And, like, he literally, like, never knew who his father was. Because his mom the... wouldn't tell him. And it ends up being Chef Gusto. But, like. What? His boss? No, Chef Gusto is the ghost. The owner of the restaurant. The Michelin star chef I that know, actually i have to be so honest i've never seen this movie <gasps> i don't think i've ever seen ratatouille are you fucking kidding me right now no shut the fuck up and say you're kidding you've never seen ratatouille i've never seen ratatouille ratatouille is the best movie i've ever seen it's better than any like oscar when it, i think it might have won the oscar actually no way for best better. animated picture grant i, I literally hope think you're, it won. i hope you're wrong i th- it had to be nominated. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Was it Pixar or just Disney? It's Pixar. Is it? Remy. Chef Gusto. Anyone can cook. Okay, anyways, can we play our game? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just thinking, like, there's a lot of, like, adult themes, themes. in these films. But, yeah, that family. Elastigirl needs to shut the fuck up. Oh, stop. I like her. She's the She's a bad bitch. Mr. Incredible, seen. he's not even that incredible. He's actually unremarkable. I actually think that like she could do better than him. She can. It should With have a been a body like that. And I'm sorry, her superpowers waist. to stretch. That pussy. Stop. That p- no, but that like pussy's... imagine. Oh my like, god, that grip. Imagine like the cr- like what perverts would think. She could get she it. She could make if she, if she was have... incredible, started an OnlyFans grant, she would literally oh. make millions. Million, billion. Milli- her, this is actually could, her a really good stretch. point to make. Oh. If real people actually did have superpowers, I bet a lot of them would end up turning into really lucrative OnlyFans. Yeah, I was gonna say so many people would fetishize. Invisib- I, even invisibility. Um, hello, fetishize. have you seen the porn categories? Like, is there super like you maybe know, it's a gay thing? There's like oh, superhero sorry. porn. I feel yeah, like a lot of gay I people had awakenings to I have Spider-Man. W- There's a lot of Spider-Man. Like pe- like yeah. gay guys dress up in Spider-Man costumes and then they rip open where the butthole is. I'm not kidding. Shut the it's, fuck up. It's Almost like a Ill. glory it's, hole, but for a Spider-Man it's costume. Ill. It's like he's full like he'll fully be in the Spider-Man costume and then it's just buttholes out. Literally like a Spider-Man glory hole. I guess so. But then there's another. It's a famous meme. There's a famous meme. It's like two people in Spider Man costumes making out on a bed, and then it just slaps stop. the butt. Stop. Send Have me y'all the seen link. It? Stop. <laughs> no, stop. Send me the link. And anytime there's a superhero movie, like a popular superhero movie like coming out. Like Captain America. Listen, men.com goes nuts during, during Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> I mean, that's literally the name of a porno. <laughs> Let's just say they were going crazy. I bet the Justice League. It was oh like my! A the group. Avengers. Was Wonder Woman even? Clo- is, is there ever you know a what woman else they included? Did? No, not with the gay sites. Well, they'll like be there, know, but, but then they leave. Like five guys. Like they'll a, exit the scene. What Wonder Gal Gadot can't join in? I feel like that's like sexist. No, it's a gay porn site. But listen, um, you know what else they do? What? Star Wars. Stop. Yeah. Lightsabers. Yeah. Lightsabers are so phallic. Yeah. Darth Vader. Are we playing the game? What game? I thought you said we want you want to play Would You Rather. Okay, would you rather fuck Darth Vader? 
It's supposed to be superhero. Oh, he is a superhero in my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> would he you rather? K- okay, would you rather star in a porno with Darth Vader or Iron Man? Darth Vader. Okay, that Darth Vader. That costume is really hot. Okay, Darth. Oh my God! Can I tell you something? Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had I have a VR headset. Do you watch? Okay, that's that man not where I was. On it? That's not where I was going with that. There's a super. There's a Star Wars game, a Darth Vader game. You come face to face with Darth Vader. When when I came face to face with Darth Vader, first of all, he's taller than me. Stop. I actually like. He has such an assertive. Energy. I felt turned on. Yeah. Like I was like, like, like oh my god! Like and he's he's a big man. Like he's yeah. like. Also, like, yeah, just so like, definitely Darth Vader. I would when he walks in a room, everyone, everyone stops, stops and looks like the confidence and of that Darth Vader. And just like as the some, mask. he's been seriously maimed and seriously injured, and he has like third degree burns. But the confidence that he has is awe inducing, it's very attractive. And like, I think we forget. Wait, can I tell you something embarrassing? Yeah. So, when I watched Star Wars when I was a kid, uh, specifically Phantom of the Menace or Clone Wars, uh-oh. An- young Anakin uh-oh. lives on Tatooine with his mom. I thought they were love interests for a Stop. long time. Stop. Let me continue. <laughs> <laughs> young Anakin lives on Tatooine with his mom, right? Yeah. We don't see a dad in the picture. We see like a stepdad. Is it that guy who flies? Um, that little alien thing? No, that's oh, no, 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 no. But we okay. never see like, Anakin's dad. And I never had a religious education <laughs> growing up. I never went to like CCD <laughs> or Bible school. <laughs> so because I didn't have a firm understanding of like what the Bible was all about and what my friends were all talking about. And I saw that Anakin didn't have a father. You I was like, Anakin oh, was, was <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Anakin's mom had a baby the same way Mary, Jesus's mom, had a baby. So for the longest time, I thought that, like, there were, like, anyone that was, like, special in the world or, like, powerful, like, the mom was just, like, magically impregnated like Anakin or Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but who else what does that apply to anywhere else like like for example growing up barack obama is president he's a very special person or no, uh, no at this point i was even younger than that george w bush is pre- is is president a very special person a man His that dad we're was about president i know but i didn't know that i was like five and i hear about george w bush i'm like his mom must have had him the same way <laughs> <laughs> you thought anyone in power <laughs> was the son of was God? Like, not the son of God because I didn't relate it, but I just thought that's how their mom had to have them. Like without a, a father, a man, just because I was <laughs> so confused why Anakin didn't have a father. And you know what? That just shows how naive I was as a child because I never learned about absent fathers. Ooh, wow, <laughs> that was. I just thought I would tell you that. And it wasn't until later I learned that. Holy shit. He just had an absent father. It makes sense in my head to this day. (laughs) What? Like, why, how I reached that conclusion. Did you think, like, principals of schools? Probably. Oh, my God. Anyone in power? Just, like, like anyone in power. I was like, oh, my God. That he had the Anakin special. That's how he was delivered. But it wasn't the Anakin special. <laughs> it was Jesus. I know, but I knew more about like Anakin was kind of more of like Jesus my Jesus than Jesus because I wasn't really familiar with Jesus's work. I never really they had. didn't even really talk about his dad at all in the in the movies, did they? Who Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you talking about? <laughs> the, the Jesus movies. <laughs> I'm not really Veggie familiar. Tales. Oh, that was Christian propaganda. <laughs> I didn't even know that Stop flew over my there. head. Sam. Um, no. S- uh, Star Wars. I don't think they made a big deal about this absent father. Exactly. Just came to that he conclusion. just has a mom. So I was like, oh, he just like only has a mom. So she had to get 
pregnant without a father and Anakin is such an important figure that all men that are important figures were born without fathers. (laughs) 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 Wow. Okay. Anyways, would you rather be Batman where both your parents die Mm. or be Spider-Man where your uncle dies? (laughs) Just kidding. Well, probably Spider-Man, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to answer. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, that's, not, yeah. that's not fucking that's not funny, funny at all. Weirdo. I don't know why. Who would ask a question like that? Okay, then you come up with one. Okay, it's so easy. Would you rather be Iron Man, but you can never take the suit off? <laughs> or be Invisible Woman, but you can never be Uninvisible? Be Iron Man, but never take the suit off. I would eat that attention up. Yeah, but you and can. N- but but you, you can't take your dick out. No. <gasps> and you have to pee in there, and then like uh, it, like. Does one, it filter out or something? Once a day, it filters out. So there are times if you drink a lot of water. What about pooping? Once a day, you have one opportunity <laughs> for ten for op- ten minutes a day. Oh. Well, maybe I can figure out a schedule. <laughs> But you can't whip your dick out? No, never. You can't have an iron dick? Never. But as as if invisible woman, if you choose to say invisible, you can do kind of whatever you want. But then it would be... <laughs> but you're invisible. But then it would be like, you'd be probably R-wording people. Not if they knew, because you could talk. You could oh. be like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> but like, don't just... sneak up on someone. That is something you'll have to like wrestle with. They would think are they're crazy talking. No, because you would be like, there. it's literally me right now, and they could feel you. Uh, I'm I sure someone ha- is into that. Uh, yeah, I would choose the invisible thing. Okay. Um, would you <laughs> rather that you are forced to be? Thanos' lover. Okay, that's not <laughs> necessarily a bad thing. Or rocket raccoons. Thanos, easily. Yeah. I would volunteer to be Thanos Groot? over okay, a lot Groot of characters. Or Groot? Are you kidding me? Oh, you. Oh, Groot or Thanos. For some reason, I, v- I picture the raccoon. Um, like Groot or the raccoon. I Thanos. Thanos, are you kidding me? Thanos or Darth Vader. Ooh, Darth Vader. Yeah. Because I don't know what Thanos has. The Emperor he... Thanos. Emperor Thanos, Palpatine. unfortunately. I was just going to say this, though. He's an Thanos is an alien, so I don't know what kind of sexual history he has and what kind of STIs he might be carrying. I would love to know Thanos' sexual history, actually. Yeah, but what if he acci- accidentally gives me something, some sort of form of chlamydia strand that he's familiar yeah. with in his home planet, and you have no but care. I can't withstand it. Stop. That would be terrible. So that's but also, alarming. like, Thanos is so... You have to remember, like, Thanos is so huge. Like, it must have been... His like, dick? No, like oh, him. Just, in general. just him in general. He's so huge. Like, honestly, yes, like that makes him very powerful and intimidating. But like, it must have been really hard to find a lover. But what if everyone else is like that too? Where he's from? Like he's not just like we never see someone who's like even comparable in size though, and a female. I mean, I don't know if he's into women. And you know why they don't do that? Why? Because a fe- a woman can never be that big. Well, also it's like crazy, you, right? Yeah, Sexism. and you know what? Like, God forbid the villain gets a love interest. You know, wait, you God know, God forbid the villain you know is something a female. Interesting, canonically. Who? Harry Styles is Thanos' brother in the Marvel universe. Wait. <laughs> I'm not even wait kidding. Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? I'm. Gra- I'm not even kidding. Right Are now. you lying? Did you see me? the biggest flop movie I've ever seen? The Eternals. No. That was a yes or no fucking question. No, but I'm scared for some reason right now. In the after credit scene, Harry Styles is playing a superhero named Eros. He has a red cape and he's with this like little like troll thing. Are you kidding right now? And he is Thanos' half brother. Grant, I am literally give me a Bible and I will swear to it. Are you actually kidding? I am not kidding. He, Harry Styles. In the Marvel Universe, canonically, 
Harry Styles. Why was he in it? Is what Thanos did he do? Ha- he is going to, I guess, continue to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Doing- he is Thanos' brother. And I think his, like, superpower, his name's Eros, which I think is Greek or Latin for, for love. love. How do you How know that? How did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> we were both like so taken <laughs> aback that you knew that. How um, do you know that? He, I don't know. That was really impressive. Um, hats off to you, right? Right. Who knows? Thank you. Um, his superpower is like sexual. Like everyone's in love with him, and like sex raw sexuality. But like Thanos and Harry, who? What did they share a mother? What was she like? And how? How biologically can they come from the same specimen? Wow. They couldn't look more different. Yeah. They couldn't look more different. But dream three way though, right? Stop. Thanos, Harry, and me. And yeah. Four way Darth. Darth Four way add Darth into yeah. the mix. <laughs> Five way Chef Linguini from Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> that make it an Eiffel Tower. Ayo. So you guys, this was the superhero episode. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was unhinged and the, and just like we like it right right you guys right all right well oh i guess God, we'll stop. see you when announcements really go to the group i have to pee i have so many things on my mind so many things so many things i have so many things that i gotta say so many things so many things so this is the time for me to get him off my chest. Get him off, get him off, get him off. <laughs> <laughs> These are the announcements for the good of the group. Announcements for the good of the group. Announcements for the good. <laughs> you try to, you try to out sing me. Announcements for the good of the group. Announcements for the good of the crew. Mm-hmm. My announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, my what are you guys doing those silences? Because <laughs> we just stare at each other. My announcement is that why? Sorry. Okay, my announcement is I'm a feminist, okay? (laughs) Sorry, oh my god. But I'm really disappointed (gasps) in the feminist movement because (gasps) we haven't acknowledged (gasps) the fact that, like, Streganona (laughs) was such a pioneer for womankind. Oh. Oh, yeah. If I had the suit, say, superpower, hey, hi, hello, superpower, if I could fill. My entire Italian town with pasta, pasta? out of vengeance because I cast a spell. Yeah. Can you imagine I fill I fill Williamsburg with angel hair fucking pasta? People would be bowing to you. They People would, would love applauding. it. Bring out a pat of butter and like have a few oh my twirls, God. some Parmesan cheese, oh my God. salt and pepper. Yum. 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 Like, Streganona <laughs> literally... Okay, you want to talk about a superpower that could solve world hunger? Streganona. Streganona's cauldron Pop. of fucking fettuccine. Deadass. And, like, why aren't, like, women championing her? Because she was... <laughs> Such a she strong contributed so much. She contributed so much to the movement because when I was a woman, <laughs> <laughs> when I was a young girl, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. What am I going to be like as a woman? <laughs> Sorry, oh my God, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so many people... So many feminists laugh when I say this too. But uh, when I was a young girl, I thought, you know what? What kind of woman am I going to be? What what can I accomplish as an adult woman? And then I read the Streganona series and I was like... <laughs> as an adult? <laughs> no, as a child. But I, You said a young woman. <laughs> I said as a young girl. <laughs> but I, I continue to read it to this day for inspiration. For like, what? I would just love to find the strength 
that she found in oh her God. being to fill her town with bucatini because i i would love to emulate that one day and i think that when we think about our feminist icons you know we think eleanor roosevelt we think susan b anthony we think you know rosa parks why not throw stringonona <laughs> in that conversation what are we scared of because she's fictional i'm not tracking <laughs> I'm not tracking the metaphor between like filling the town with pasta and feminism. She fed a town. Oh. Okay. Yes, yeah, Susan B. Anthony got me the right to vote. But I don't she have didn't free pasta yeah. coming out of my fucking window. Yeah. Spaghettiona did that. Yeah. Okay. Also, to do that. <laughs> Like later in life, I think that's such an accomplishment because so many. Yeah, people, she's an old lady, isn't she? Yeah, so many people have this idea in their head. Like, I think, like you know, I gotta make the Forbes under thirty, like thirty under thirty. I gotta, I, I, I feel so rushed for success. And Streganona is <laughs> a perfect example that you good, can peak. Str- yes, yeah, str- no, Streganona is such a good example that good things come to those who wait. And success will find you if you just have the audacity to look for it. And, and a magic cauldron. And a magic cauldron filled with pasta. But that's honestly like second in priority. Like the first is to have a dream and to reach for your success. And the second is to have a magic cauldron of pasta. Do y'all even know what Stregonona is? I hope so. Just Google it. You didn't have a fucking childhood if you... Oh my, oh my god. god. It's a really good I'm children's sorry. book. And it's a if, it's a children's if book. If I had one laying around right now, I would fucking crack that shit open and read it. Anyway, what's your announcement? Um my announcement isn't as like deep or like politically moving. Right. Mine was just like today was like kind of one of the first chillier days, but it still was like 60 degrees or something. There was a chill in the air. There was a chill in the air. It does not give people the right on September 20, whatever it is, to be wearing your puffer jacket (laughs) (laughs) this early in the year. I saw when I walked to Whole Foods this evening, I saw people in beanies. (laughs) Give me a goddamn break. People think they have one sip of a pumpkin spice latte and and they need to put a beanie gloves and scarf on all of a sudden what it's the fucking arctic also hello you're skipping fall yeah fall's not freezing where you need to put a goddamn puffer jacket and snow pants on it's more of a denim jacket or even a leather a jacket flannel? okay a well flannel. i wore a flannel to work today and i got bullied so you guys i guess flannels are out actually everyone in my office can shut the fuck up because yeah. what are they wearing flannels are so comfy they're so comfy and it's like a, it's literally a replacement for a jacket in this kind of weather. It is because if you put on a heavier jacket, even a cargo jacket, it's you're going to be too warm. It's too much. If you wear short sleeves, you're going to get gooseies. Listen, I wore pants and a flannel and I was fine. You do not need to break out the goddamn winter jacket I in September. I completely agree with you. It's so annoying. Like, what are y'all fucking doing? And then everyone's going to follow suit because everyone's fucking followers here. Right? Yeah. No one knows how to just be themselves. Right, you guys? It's, yeah. You guys stay. I saw one too many hats today. Too many, like, literally gloves. Literally Like, puffer jackets. Oh, my God. You know what? What? You know what might be good for this season? Maybe, like, if it dropped 10 more degrees, fingerless gloves. Because you get to feel the chill on your fingertip, but But your palm's warm. And you're acknowledging it. You're acknowledging the cool air on your skin, your palm, cozy, warm. And what? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but (laughs) when your hands get cold, what parts of your hands get cold? Your fingers. So who the fuck invented that? We should invent a glove where your That's fingers just, are covered, but there's a 
there's a put like, the palm. hole on your palm. Yeah. Because I'd actually love to feel a breeze there rather yeah. than my fingertips. Because when your fingertips get all cracked, like your nails and stuff in the cold weather, and like they get all red. Whereas my palm, I would love to wave it in the air and feel that crisp <laughs> oh autumnal breeze on my palm. Yeah. Oh my God. Did we just invent there's something? We should go on Shark Tank with this. <laughs> be shook. Sharks, let me tell you <laughs> about the palmless glove. <laughs> what would we call it? Um, the palmless glove. No, like something like more clever. The gripper, because like you're really <laughs> gripping things in your palm. I just think of gripping a cock. Oh my god! You could do that with our glove. You could, I guess. Okay, on to an announcement for the good of the group from a fan. Here we go. This is probably our longest episode. This is a, such a long episode. It's like we can't even stop. But y'all fucking ask for it, right, you guys? You guys fucking ask. Okay, this is from Alex. Here we go. Yo, Hi. I've got an announcement for the okay. good of the group. Um, My name's Alex, and I guess, like... I just want to say, if someone sends you a Venmo request, uh-huh. either pay up uh-huh. or text them and give them a heads up that you can't pay up. Right now, Hi-yo. I'm dealing with, it was uh, a friend's birthday. Stop. And I reached out to my other friend and was like, hey, you want to go halves on a present. Naturally. Oh, that's nice. And she was like, sure. Well, what was the present? So we decided to get concert tickets. Stop! To the 1975 Stop. favorite band. For Stop! Band. That's so Aww. sweet. And what? we didn't You're get so one kind. ticket. We huh. got two tickets. So both her and, a fr- and a plus her boyfriend one. can go. Stop. Stop! These people are so off the fucking earth. Okay, there's part two. Part two. So... My friend's like, oh, you go buy the tickets uh-huh. and then tell me what the difference is, what, what the half is, and I'll pay my half uh, afterwards. Okay. So, okay. so bought the tickets, screenshot the receipt. It's like, here's the ticket price, yada, yada. This is how much you owe me. And she says, send me a Venmo request. I'm at work. And I'll pay it after work. Oh, Red no. flag. Okay. Red flag. So sent the Venmo request. Now it's been three days. Oh. Our friend's birthday has already passed. Oh. And I have already given the tickets to this friend and said, it's from me and this other person. And they're like, oh, my God, thank you, thank you. This was great, yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay. Um, so homegirl gets all the credit. Not all the credit, but, you know. Half, half the, the credit. credit. Wait, who gets half the credit? The friend that he... That hasn't paid him yet. Why? She came up with it? No, but she, the gift was from them because oh, they agreed and the, to split oh, it. Oh, and the friend was like, oh my God, thank you guys so much. Yeah, I love you guys. Yeah. Okay, we'll get this. There's a part three. Oh my God. I'm literally on the edge of my fucking seat. I actually, I, I kind of am. This is actually juicy. She gets what half do you do? the credit for this ticket Yeah, fuck purchase, that. And she okay, hasn't given it now. back. Stop. Also, oh my God. She didn't even go to the girl's birthday party. <laughs> So, Stop! Why was she you fired? I think she's trying to bounce out on, on that check there. So <gasps> that's my announcement. Um, Are you fucking hey, kidding? If you can, if you can't, then don't just agree. Be a little more respectful. Be honest. Give your friends a heads up. Oh. Um, also, love y'all's podcast. And Thank you. I do photography. So if I'm ever in New York, or if you guys are ever in Nashville, like. <gasps> Hit me up. I'm happy to oh like God. take some photos of you guys. Like, some oh, my oh my God, we must absolutely love so, that opportunity. Love, thank you. A twink and redhead. <laughs> oh my God, you're so sweet. First thank- of all, you know what would be helpful in this situation? What? A superpower where you could go into someone's bank account and see how much they're working with. <laughs> because before you say, yeah, let's go have. Because these. you can. And also, even after the, after they're refusing to pay, oh, then you, know. you take a look inside their bank account because you have that ability and you say, hey, I know you're sitting on 50 grand right now. Why can't you pay the 100 bucks for the 1975 ticket? Yep. 
Are you fucking kidding that, me? That superpower that? has a lot of real life circumstances that would be really useful in. You know what pisses me off? It's a concert ticket. Yeah. Those are expensive. Those are expensive. Also, like, if my friends gifted me a concert ticket. I'd be like, oh, my God, thank I you so much. I would literally be like, oh, my God, thank you That's so much. That's so kind and thoughtful. Because we're not talking about, a, like, a donkey's order right now. A donkey's Starbucks or a donkey's car. Maybe like they car. didn't. Well, maybe. They, and, like, you're not even talking about your friends who maybe didn't pay you back when you got them a nice coffee. Because, like, you know, yeah. those things happen. Also, your friend gets you coffee, you get them a coffee. You know what? It, it balances out in the end. Um, this is a concert ticket. Yeah. That's expensive. Yeah. And you have to put in a lot of effort to even acquire tickets these days. This poor guy, you know, surfing ticket master, trying to find a ticket. And now what? He's stuck with the friend's ticket and the boyfriend's ticket because the other friend won't pay up. She's a bitch. She's not now, a real friend. Now, what I wonder is, did have you tried texting her and reminding oh. her? Because... I think there is nothing ruder than when you send someone a Venmo request and then you have to text them to follow up on it. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they forget. No, and honestly, I've been guilty of it as well. I forget I a lot. Like I have, Venmo but requests. I've learned my lesson. I'm like, you know what? You never want the reputation of someone who doesn't pay someone back. No, a, yeah. That is one of the worst reputations you can have as a person. <laughs> and because I know people like that, where we you're like, you do. know what? I can't even go to dinner with this person right now because I know I will never get paid. I'm going to have to yeah. pay for their yeah. steak frites and they won't <laughs> pay me back. <laughs> yeah, no, it's ridiculous. I mean, I don't know who would not who would take their time to pay back something as big as a concert ticket. You're siding with a friend. No. Oh. No, I'm talking about how you paid for the Ireland Taylor oh. Swift tickets and I didn't pay you back. Oh, have you still not paid me back? No, I you paid you half. We and then the, uh, yeah, Disney. the other half was Disney. So I paid for your Disney portion. And then... The I'm also like is... pretty bad with money so sometimes. So know. like, honestly, if you're not reminding me, I'm I might not remember. No, but I have some Venmo like, like I've requested money from people because I've bought them like drinks or we've gone out and they they'd be like Venmo me or like Venmo request me whatever. I'll do it and like you it's been silence. years. I have the same Grant, things to like, remind like, them. I have like three Venmo charges. From like the past three years to the same person, and I just haven't gotten paid over the past like three years. You should remind them right now. So I, but I know that Stop. this person like probably doesn't even have Venmo, uh -huh. because th their last like Venmo thing on their like profile or whatever is like 2017. Huh. But it's like, how are you paying people? I don't know. Should I ask for cash next time I see them? Be like, yeah. hey, remember when I bought you two tequila sodas in 2019? <laughs> Can you please pay them? Like, pay me for them? Do I know this person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who? Oh, my God. But that's who I was thinking of earlier when you were like, you hate to have that reputation of someone who literally doesn't pay you back. I thought of that person immediately. Yeah, like, I know he tough. has that rep reputation. It's tough. Crazy. All right. All right, this has been our longest episode to date. This definitely has been like our longest episode. Also, to it's date. the longest episode, but probably it's the shortest in how long we actually talked about the topic at hand. <laughs> I got so many things. <laughs> Darth Vader was like half the episode. <laughs> and Anakin's virgin and, mother. Yeah. Oh my god. And then young adult novels. Oh, we talked yeah. about so much, you guys. And so if you're much. still listening, you're a real one. Thank you. If you've gotten this far. All right. And make sure to follow us on our like so and subscribe. Like and subscribe on we we have a YouTube where we post videos. Hey, follow us on tiktok because a lot of people have been asking for alarm video part, part two. two it will be, It'll up. be up it'll and be up maybe 1989 song predictions will be up too and maybe a lot of other hits maybe so many other hits maybe by the time this is up we'll have 200,000 followers oh stop we will stop we will stop, stop. all right also give this a five-star review because or seriously i'll be fucking pissed yeah we i'll seriously. be fucking so mad seriously 
And I love reading you guys. Your, your, your reviews are so creative on Apple Podcasts. Stop. Maybe so we should read them. some in our accents next episode. Oh, my God. We Stop. should at the beginning. Next time, we're reading some of y'all's reviews. So write us. Write us a review. And we'll, say, and we'll read it in this accent. What if the review was like, can you please stop talking in those fucking oh accents? God. It drives me crazy. I would be like, you know what? No. And you know what? If you're not going to rate it five stars, don't review it at all. Don't review it at all. Because seriously, you have no taste. And we don't even want you as a listener. Oh. Just kidding. We do. We do. We we do. do. If you made it this far, we do. We do. We do. We do. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Love Bye. you. A twink.